Hi everybody, it's Leslie with your July forecast for Aries. Here we're coming right up to July 4th. And what a celebration for most people, Independence Day. For us, for us as a country. The principle of abundance and operating a full throttle at a full throttle, whether that means more money, friends, or fun, that's what July 4th is going to do for you the whole month. Freedom needs to be tempered with responsibility. A small relationship problem, but you can solve it. You can take care of it. It's no, no big problem. The new moon on the 12th turns your attention toward home and family environment. And you'll be very, you'll really want to do things with your family. You'll have um, picnics, barbecues, outdoor get togethers, um, maybe um, celebrations of some kind, family reunions, class reunions even. Use caution when prior prioritizing your interests. Your best days are the 5th, the 14th, and the 27th. And, and it is a good month for you. You're a very good month. Remember, we have two, two eclipses this month. Uh, the 12th is the new moon eclipse, and the 27th is the full moon eclipse. So, let's see what the cards have in store for you. It's good, nice cards. Ooh. Um, well, it looks like you're, um, you're in charge of a lot of things this month. You will be in charge of uh, planning things, um, getting things together, helping. I have a, this feeling I have helping maybe someone that is sick, uh, helping someone who has someone sick that's going into the hospital, that's going into a long care situation, maybe a parent. Um, you'll be very looked up to, very sought after this month because you seem to, um, you have the fire, of course, you know, but you have the soothing ability to help people and make them feel more at peace. Um, and there's a young person that really relies on you that you're very proud of and will be more proud of in their job, school, or just the way they are growing up. As a, and I think it's a young man. I believe it's a young man. Your love situation looks very good. Um, a relationship here that has much more to it than just the romance. It has partnership, re companionship, and a lot of mutual interest together. And that's the best thing you have going for you in the month of July. And of course, this is true love for sure and for certain. So these cards go together. This is a gift from God. There's God's hand giving you true love for sure and for certain. And here's an old friend from the past or someone new. Um, maybe you haven't seen them in a long time. And maybe it's just someone new that you kind of have a little, that could be the small relationship problem. It's over a conversation that you have. And here you are. Really, you really like to do things the right way for people, and you will be doing the right things, even settling this little problem. And this could be an old relationship that's come back and wants to start something again, and you don't really want to, or someone you haven't seen in a long time uh, that just isn't for you, that isn't right, or maybe the other way around. You want to, you want something to go with them, and it doesn't work out very well. But you do have someone now, here and now, I would say that's very, very good for you. And in the past, and this is part of, hold on to what you do have. Please hold on to your security. Um, you have good security. You have a good sense of holding on to what you have. Um, very nice. Very nice cards. Let's see what your angel cards hold for you this month. Here we go. Let's see. Put these out here. Let's see what this one says for you. As I'm picking this for you. Success will be yours. Be confident. And I think you are confident this month. Very confident. If you'd like a more in-depth reading, this is kind of an important month with two eclipses. Every six months we have two eclipses. Call for an in-depth reading. We have a big special on the July the 4th. It's uh, 15 minutes for $44, and that is just from 10 to 10 on July 4th. Bye-bye. Have a great month.